you for the reminder. Saving in progress. Okay. Let's go ahead and begin. How, how many people in chat have played this, by the way? How many of you guys in chat have played this? Is this, uh... Is this game good for those of you ha that have uh, played it? Is it good? I just want to get my expectations. Like, in, if I expect it to be really good and it's not, I'll be disappointed. If it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Never heard of it. A lot of people have never heard of it. Okay, I can either restart the game to get vertical sync on. Let's do that. Complete utter garbage. It's pretty good, not great. Okay, so decent. They're crackling. I think that's per on purpose, though. I think the crackles are on purpose. Okay. Let's begin White Knight. Some nights are just pitch black without stars without sleep. Dirty nights clinging to you like tar. Like this one night, back in 1938. Boston. The Great Depression tsunami was just sweeping over what was left of America. Misery. Hunger. Despair. Times are hard, they said. Times were worse than hard. And the bar was about to close. As far as I was concerned, this was just another intoxicated day drawing to an end. If only I knew. If you're a game developer, don't have press A to skip appear on the screen the entire time. It's really annoying. You're not gonna drive, are you drinking? He was drinking. I love the art style. It's very unique. I know Dan gasped. He was we were drinking and driving. Let's let's British mode this. I love the uh, I love the music. I love the atmosphere so far, it's beautiful. No, you can't quite wreck.
gets me excited for Mafia 3, yeah. I love Mafia 2 and 1. Mafia 2, not the perfect game, but it was pretty good. I liked it. Mystic River. Isn't that a song? Like a famous song? Okay, that's a big cliche though, like swerving from a ghost the in the middle of the was road. still echoing in my bones as the image of that girl coming out of nowhere surged back in my mind. Did I hit her? Was she dead? I couldn't remember. Thoughts were spinning in my head. I hope I didn't run her over. I hope she's still alive. Then, the pain, the terrible pain on my side. And this question, where am I? Who am I? What is my name? I can think of a, quite a few movies and books to start with swerving from a ghost or a dead body in the middle of a road. I am a fan of the uh, the atmosphere and sound right so far have been phenomenal, and the art, art aesthetics the art aesthetics are pretty. The car was wrecked. I got lucky. Can I open the trunk, maybe? <laughs> Hello, Julia. Fashion name, thank you for a sub, and thank you, Curly Jefferson. Thanks for the support, guys. Try again. <laughs> nope. Probably either need the key to the trunk, or... Something to pry it open with, maybe. God, he's acting all funky like he got in a car accident or something. The car was on the brink of death. The girl on the road, the impact, couldn't find her body. that right there. Nothing. I see an electrical box. Can I use that? The box seems to catch the lighting on the street. Woo! Uh, Dan checks on the car before checking on the girl. Of course. What do you think is more valuable? Some some little girl or a freaking car. This is the like the 1930s. That was probably like a two thousand dollar car, which is expensive nowadays. You can make a girl with five dollars and a loose woman. You know, it doesn't take much to make a child. Whoops! Pull the camera. Okay, other way. No body, no blood. Where the girl disappeared. Boston Daily News. I didn't even see anything there. I don't know how you're supposed to see that. Uh, who was that girl who crossed the? Couldn't bet. Bought. Ten cents. Jesus. Check the mailbox. Vesper Manor didn't ring a bell. My head was empty and painful. Is it, does it 
open. Why is it flickering like that? It's weird. I never said the point of those giant gates like that. It seems so pompous. I was trying to collect my thoughts, but the intense pain was scattering them like a bunch of dead birds. My fear of being wounded changed into an obsession. Was I about to die? I see, of course. Got the camera, though. These camera angles. Oh my god, I'm stumped. Water sports? I really hope the main character stops wobbling after a while because he's moved so slow. I see a little symbol on there. What is that? The unknown symbol let out a powerful aura. What is that? I've seen that symbol before. Like in Egyptian culture. I think it stands for a chlamydia or something. If I touch this, am I technically feeling well? The darkness of the well spat a smalty smell into my salty smell into my face. Can you grab the bucket? Or just, or just throw it down in there. Dark. Why would you just throw the bucket in? Like, what's wrong with you? For sale. The boar looks as old as the house. Well, let's go check out the graveyard. That seems like fun. The arm came from a marble structure. Let's go check out the graveyard. That's a lovely, lovely place, I'm sure. I'm sure it's just fantastic. Uh, nice bench. Hmm. Margaret Vesper, born Venter Cross. A bird table, nothing more. Hey, it's a bird bath. My grandma had one of those. Birds would like get on it and be like <laughs> in the water. B. Norman. The name coming from nowhere was chilling. Henry Vesper, a relative of the landlord. Uh, the bucket not been used for a long time. I want to go throw it in the well too with the other one. Uh, is this is that an axe? Take that. Statue had been moved recently. Why was it moved? The statue is staring at me with a white and hostile stare, and apparently disarming. William Vesper, no date given on the grave. Maybe he's still alive. That's like a little baby coffin. That little box right there. Alright, let's uh go inside, I guess. Do we read this one? Metallic shard in the dark caught my attention. Okay. Okay, let's.
Let's hope he stops hobbling. This hobbling is getting annoying. Alright, let's go in the front door now. If we can. Something tells me the door will be unlocked. over there. Couldn't see a thing. The window was watch was watching over a tomb. See a nice rocking chair. Drink some sweet tea. Is that a bourbon glass? There is still some golden liquid inside the glass. Someone was here recently. I see a paper right there. Letter from Martha Kenton. To William Vesper. Under normal circumstances, I would have never tried to contact you. I am an honest woman. I have supported my husband since the blessed day of our wedding, from which two beautiful children were born. I have given them the best education I could, but today I cannot afford to raise them properly anymore. We are ruined! My husband's employer went bankrupt. He is traveling from town to town trying to find a job while I have to beg for food. Every single day, for four years, my four-year-old son has a bad cough, which is getting worse, and I fear for his life. Nowadays, we can see children die in the streets. Is this still America? I beg of you who are rich. Only a few dollars would be enough. We could work for you. We live in the shack under the best oil sign at the entrance of the slum by the Graham Slaughterhouses. Don't hesitate to come, Martha Kenton. I know you said Lance has seen, Lamp has seen better days. Okay, then. So, this was after the Depression. Uh, I don't think anyone lives here, bud. The landlord was out, so the key might be around somewhere. Where the hell would the key... No one around. I was all alone, with my pain growing, and some nausea starting up. Don't stop. Think quick. Think well. It was just an accident. It happens. The girl must have made it out alive. I had to make it out alive, too. Um, where would the key be? Oil, damp planks from the front of the mansion. Well, if I were to keep a key, where would I keep it? Under the, under a rock outside? Arm can round strike, there was no key in sight. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I see what I thought I saw? Look again. Not here. Right there. Right there. Marble titties. Sorry, that's inappropriate. I apologize. Maybe in that box over there next to the statue. Okay, let's check. Statue been moved recently. Check the statue itself. Statue staring me with a white and hostile stare. No key here. Check the bucket. So he, now I got to recheck everything because he was, wasn't looking for the key. The key was probably hidden nearby. Relative to the landlord. Let me check that box over there. Check the other side too, I forgot what was over there. Can I move 
the statue back, maybe? Oh. Push it. Not hit in place at all. Twisted, but the dead probably kept burglars I had away. I feeling I was about to desecrate a sanctuary. To open the door to a world I didn't belong to. But whoever lived in there, they would understand. I needed help. Anyone would understand that. Yeah, I, one thing I need help with is not wobbling so slowly around. Should walk at normal speed. Okay, all those clues to tell you about the statue. I found the key though. I have a feeling it's gonna be spoopy in here though. somewhere safe. That's all that mattered. As the doors opened, the mansion seemed to react to my presence. There was a smell, like a cornered animal. A smell of fear. Uh, and yet, I entered the place, because I had no choice. I was praying to find a phone, or some help. I didn't even bother wondering what happened to prayers when they reached the wrong door. Um... I wonder what fear smells like. Probably like Lysol, I'd, I'd imagine. Why are there footprints? There's a phone. Tens of that thing working aren't good. Hello. Hello. I need an ambulance. Can you hear me? I need help. usually not afraid of the dark but there on that day I remembered I had a matchbox somewhere in my jacket the urge to light a match was growing with every new chill running down my spine in my kiss some light whoa More matches, thank you. Some African mask, a face with the wooden soul. Peaceful landscape, the kind of place I would love to be. The shovel was covered with fresh soil. Is that a hat? I had a man was living there. That's sexist. A woman could wear a hat too. I couldn't open it, it was no use. What's this all a boot? The boots have been used very recently. Absolutely someone's living here. Whoever lived here had a special taste for alcohol. The mountain landscape could suit couldn't soothe me. Oh. 
lights. This place does have working electricity. Two men on a small boat. Memory of an expedition. Can I put the match away? Alright, let's uh, try this door. Goddamn door. Too heavy for me to breach it. Especially with my bad leg. Oh, now he starts wobbling as soon as he puts the match away? Who answered? I couldn't forget that sound. Let's try this door. Couldn't get through here. Couldn't get through there. What about this right here? The bookshelf. Encyclopedias. The edge was hardly readable. Okay, let's push. There was a door over here somewhere. Without light, no way. Was it the glow? Was it the glow or the accident was that I was seeing there? Some man's face. What's that? Margaret's diary, expert eleven. Suffocating it is in its useless. Suffocating in its useless illuminations and frills. The mansion doesn't have the greatness befit. Befitting a fortune like the Vespers, it's the work of a degenerate romantic. It's like the stain in this century. I ordered the flower beds on the east side of the garden to be removed. They made moving around complicated. In the summer, their scent was unbearable. I didn't talk about it to Henry, and he was quite upset. For the first time, I think I saw something like rage in his eyes. For a few seconds, he did look like a man. Then he shut himself back in his melancholy and played the piano all afternoon. His jazz again. The stupid music which reeks of debauchery and misery. I see some more matches in the corner. Oh, light. The armchair looked comfy and get some rest and save my progress. Seriously. Are there 11 matches there? Best for the landlords for sure, not a very smiling couple. Nothing special about the wardrobe. The crucifix was not comforting at all. William is seven today. He's with Henry running after the servants and the guard and dressed up like monsters from space. Games. Always games. The mansion is all upside down, and their yells gave me an awful headache. I'm now cloistered in the office, unable to even pray. Henry's fantasies keep William away from his great destiny. I have to bring him back to me, as this will be my only chance to make a man out of him. To make him embrace the Venter Cross legacy. To show him the way. Henry is a dreamer, and he has no ambition whatsoever. He can't, te he can't teach me him anything. Behind every great man, there is a great woe man. Nonsense. Woe men should, should be on the front line. This is where the opposite brought us. I have no illusion about how little power the world is leaving in the hands of woe man. But woman, William is young. He is the future. I will act through him, and may night finally fall upon this house. May William stop running after deceiving.